Welcome back to that So Vegas. How could you possibly go away <laughs> when I have three handsome Italian men sitting here are multi-talented and also related. Yeah, yo Vinny, young Vinny, young Vinny, Nikki, but this is a dad and his two sons and they are the Bronx Wanderers and they're nightly at the window showroom at Bally's at 5.30, right? Yeah, right, right. Which is yep. a cool gig. I know that may sound a little bit odd if you're playing night clubs in New York. Right. But we dig it. We love yeah, it. Well, people do, too, because they can go to the show, go to dinner, go oh, to yeah. another show, and I, right. I just think it's a great time yeah. slot. So we talked uh, quite a bit about, uh, in the first um, part of the show here, your background, and it was very exciting to be in the record gold label signing industry and yeah. everything, and how you would 11 walked in and started playing drums and then you're the mechanic or the man who can just do <laughs> it all but you I'm the mad scientist. <laughs> scientist. So I understand that you two have a band as well called Love Bent. We do. And um, we talked a little bit on break where we were reminiscing about some good old <laughs> rock and roll and looking at the blank look on their faces but I mentioned a bit of rap like weekends coming for uh, New Year's Eve and everything but you guys didn't jump up and down. So <laughs> what, what are you what are your favorite genres based on your age and your friends and your peers or me what? And him, me and him listen to such different music. Oh, you do? We really do. He's so into like, what would you say, pop and everything popular today? Like he listens to what the world is listening to. Okay. Yeah. Whereas I'm listening to you know, nothing you'll hear on the radio. No kidding. Which is, so. which is, you know, not great, but it's my music and I love my music. You uh -huh. know, like, you know. And I've seen my bands. I got. I go to two concerts a year because we play every day or every weekend. So I go to two shows a year. I spend four hundred dollars on a ticket and see like the band that I love, and I'm I'm happy. I'm able to do that. Interesting. Do you pick yeah. up stuff from the different music? I mean, that you apply to your own. I definitely like. <laughs> oh my god, I was influenced by everybody I listened to. Everybody. That's why I played like you know so many instruments from the piano to the banjo to the guitar to the everything is from mm -hmm. all the bands I love. That just amazes yeah, me. I, I took it. piano for two years and I still can't play. What does that tell you? <laughs> and I can't sing. At least you took it for two years. You know, I didn't take it at all. I wish I, I did But I can write. It. I've written books. I can write. That's what I nice. do. Nice. So, you know, I do have that one talent. Very cool. Yeah. And you two are, what, four years apart? Do you have other yeah. siblings? No, thank goodness. Just okay. him. That's always <laughs> <laughs> And you're traveling together and performing on stage together. Yeah. Is there any sibling rivalry, would you say, or no? No, believe it or not, me and him fight the least in the band. Yeah. Oh, I can honestly say that. Really? Me and him definitely fight the least, but uh -huh. me and him hold it all together. You know, he's the he's the tempo, uh -huh. and I'm telling everybody where to go. They and know what they're doing. Right. But I mean, you know, I yeah. love him, and he's he's awesome. I'm glad I get to tour with this guy. And how does and with your dad? I mean, that has really got to be something that. Now, how many people can say they do that? Really? Not and many people can say it. No. Not many can say it. And you've been all over the world, haven't you? Yeah. Pretty much. Been pretty good. Tour. We got to go as far away as Abu Dhabi and the United Arab Emirates. That's yeah, we weird. did. Uh, I bet. And uh, where else? Canada, the whole United Australia, States. Australia, down, down under. We didn't get down there. Oh, we didn't get to Europe yet, but uh -huh. we're hoping. We're hoping. We want to do that. How do you work with your band and Dad's band? I mean, I, that, that, I know that I it's a lot I, of work. I book it enough so that they can. I'm work. still trying to figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> and he really has kept me busy over the years, <laughs> and I'm not able to do much. But um, all the free time I have goes into writing, and that's where my passion is. And I just, you know, even if because my music is rock music, right, that's not the popular thing today. It's not you're going to hear on the radio. It's all, you know, rap and pop. It's written by the same More 10 like guys. I know right. my music isn't going to get anywhere, right? But, I mean, I just I do it for myself because I, I love it. I yeah. love it so much. I love it more than anything, writing. I love music, listening to it. Again, I gotta just, I'm just gonna say this, not because you're sitting here, the show was so much fun. Thank you. It's smooth and it's tight. And you guys, I mean, your harmony, it, and it makes me think of the genetic. Um, That's what it's about. Right. And we would always say that about the Everly Brothers. It's all Bee genetic. And the Righteous Brothers, the Bee Gees, yeah, yeah. and uh, the Pointer Sisters. I mean, it just goes on and on. What yeah. is that? It's just like a tone? Is it just a something and just we're always together amazing. you know we're always together to work on it and where's then mom around in the house <laughs> mom is the glue i was gonna, <laughs> mom's home. Home. <laughs> mom is the glue that i bet she misses crazy. her men though no she's here she's, uh, she's, she's here with here. us oh good we, Hi, i see mom. i'm already calling here home <laughs> oh <laughs> You met home like wherever you're right, staying. Yeah, I yeah. thought you met home in New York. No, we, have, no, we haven't had a home in 14 years. We're just everywhere. <laughs> that's really awesome. You know, that that's why it's so cool to call Las Vegas like home. 
uh-huh. for a change. Yeah. We actually yeah. have like a base. Mm-hmm. We have to travel and get in a van for 14 hours. I love it. Mm-hmm. She's been yeah. running the videos for us. And, and the she is running the videos for us. But right the uh, union basically said, now she can't. So now she's like, what am I going to do? <laughs> oh, she's no. Mom got fired. <laughs> Mom got <laughs> fired. Yikes. <laughs> There are a couple little issues in Vegas. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. And it's not the parking <laughs> fees. Uh, seriously. Yeah, you're coming in where we have some changes uh, coming on. A lot of people who come on the show, and I've had some wonderful entertainers that play locally here. You'll have to go to the Italian American Club because Heard that. you we are Italian. did our first job there. Oh, first did job you already? Was there, so yeah. you had Nelson Sardelli? Uh, sure. It's, it's Halloween. Tell me a nightmare. We, we played <laughs> our first job there. They were probably 15 and 12. At the Italian American Club. Club, on Sahara, here in Las they Vegas. They flew us out to come out and play with another band, and the sound man set us all up. And there was a, a band that went on first, a local great band called Goodfellas, great guys, and Tony Sacco was the host. Tony, yep. And so when they brought us out, they said, and now the Bronx Monsters we hit, and nothing came out. No. And the sound guy was now a different sound guy who's looking at this giant board. Uh-huh. and can't figure out where we are on oh, the board no. where the other guy put us and for 15 minutes we're standing on stage oh i'm so sorry and they could not figure it out and everybody apologized and i think we got to do like one song and oh. lick our wounds and run away oh. believe it or not that happened the first show of this run first night we went to hit and now the bronx wanders nothing was on oh, and I looked at dad and I said oh my god no. maybe it's a good Full thing it's circle. a good thing it's a good thing <laughs> you know that's our thing it's our thing it's got to go down and then we'll second go second time up. we came out we did the San yeah. Gennaro Festival at the Rio right. and the same thing happened 20 groups are playing everybody's playing when they announced us picture the entire amusement park everything running the stage all out there was this huge oh my God. Boof, no. and all Everything the lights down. went out. Everything <laughs> and they came running up and they I'll said, you, it's our Vegas this thing. never <laughs> happened to anyone. We go, of course not, we weren't here. <laughs> that is kind thing. of funny. It's just that you bring so much power. <laughs> yeah. I think you're just like blowing everything out. <laughs> We'll oh, have yeah. to get you down to the New America telling you. It's a whole different Great. animal now, and yeah. they really are priding themselves. I had Nelson Sardelli. Great. He has the Fiore Club. We'll talk about that. But Great. this show is about you guys, not about the Italian American Club. So, <laughs> yeah. so you've had some pretty explosive experiences yeah. when you came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But this time is a little bit oh, different. Oh, that's great. And uh, uh, I was thinking we could talk about it in the next segment, too. But when the next generation comes up, what if it's all girls? Because obviously you have this family thing going on. Meaning, is the band going to continue with our children? Wouldn't you think? Why not? Nikki's looking I'm thoughtful th- here. I'm hoping for sons, but I think it's going to be done. I yes. know I exactly so. what I put him through my entire life. You think I'm going to have a little thing do that to me? <laughs> I would never do the things I did to this man. I would No, really? I don't know. But if you had girls, what kind of band? Or say that they just hypothetically, if you had granddaughters and I mean granddaughters <laughs> yeah. and daughters, yeah. what kind of band do you think those girls would be? Just based on what we no. know, so our girls that I love next, Las next Vegas, Stefani. and I always wanted to be Wayne Newton. So now I have the three background singers like him, the twenty-piece <laughs> band, and my two kids. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> but three little girls, they could rock some music, don't awesome. you think? Yeah, girls yeah, great. Just, do you think they'd be kind of like a what? What would my daughter be like yes. if I had a daughter? Yes. Oh my God, it is so early for this conversation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Um, I don't even know what to say. I haven't even ever envisioned my, my children if I'm ever going to have any. I just think You know, I haven't even met somebody that I love and would want to do that with yet. I'm like, oh my goodness. Well, you know? I haven't been here long enough. <laughs> I was just saying. Yeah. Love is in the air. Give it another week. Yeah. 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 You know, I, just, I, just, I just pray that whatever kid I have... It's like me and him that they're just loyal to the fam. That's good. Because that's yeah, what that's it's a, about. You do have the bond. You know, you know it's, it's amazing. We are so loyal to each other. And Even it's a scary it's world out there. It's a scary world. You know. we got to stick together. Yeah, and with a band, a size of... It literally is a scary many? world. Many? Six pieces Six right pieces? Right yeah. And if we get... Are they local, by the way? That's a question. Uh, no, the guys, they no, all we flew back. We brought everybody out. Flew everybody out together. Bronx Wonders moved out. Well, that's why you sound so smooth and there's... There's 14 years behind. Oh, believe me, though, there's plenty of great clams and mess-ups. Are as well, do you think? Or? They're not married, uh, but, but you know, it, it's tough on them. I, I talked to their parents because, you know, like the sax player's dad was just out, and, uh, 
you know, the guitar player's away from his family and the bass player's away from his family. Well, so then you guys are their family. I can understand yeah. that. We do have to take a quick break, and I keep forgetting to say how really wonderful my sponsor, The Red Roof Inn, is. Because so amazing. Red they Roof are Roof amazing. Free Wi-Fi, continental breakfast for guests, animal, pet friendly, and close to the strip. And we'll be right back. Don't you dare go away.